what is good youtube it is nail by millie and today i'm back with another video today i'm going to be showing you guys how i did my christmas nails for this year so let's get straight into the video so th for this set i already have removed the shine from my nails and put on my nail tips i'm just going in with some alcohol to get the dust off of my nail beds for this set today we are going to be doing a rubber base underneath my acrylic and i have seen this idea on tiktok by at zion pressed you i will put her at on the screen somewhere so that's where i got the idea from she says it makes your nails last way longer so i'm all about that so then I'm just going in with some dehydrator. You don't need to use primer when doing this rubber base method. You just have to remove the shine and dehydrate your nails and then go straight into the rubber base. This is the rubber base that I used. It is from Amazon and I think I liked it. I think it was pretty good. Um, again, like always, I'll have everything down in the in the description below but basically a rubber base is a super thick base coat that's basically what it is and so I'm just going to put this on all five of my nails on this side and then cure it into my lamp for about 30 seconds I was being very very careful when applying it not to get it on my skin or anything like that and I'm just letting y'all know now this shit will burn in on your fingers in the lamp if you like put if you have a lot on your nail which you're gonna have a lot on your nail because it's thick but just know that it's going to burn you just got to take your hand out for a couple seconds and then put your hand back in and you'll be fine i think i cured mine for 90 seconds probably because it was still a little tacky when i just put it in there for 30 seconds so i'm just doing my thumb first and then i did the other four fingers and yeah i never ever knew about rubber base and this is my first time trying it underneath the set so i will definitely let you guys know on my tiktok how well that that they last with this rubber base technique um usually my nails do not last me that long be especially on my non-dominant hand which would be my right hand they just fall off so fast because it's hard to like put the acrylic on correctly so i was kind of hoping that this works for me and zion the girl that i got it from on tiktok she actually does this with her clients as well so of course before doing something on my clients i like to test it out on myself first so that's also why i'm doing it on myself for this set if i like how it works um i'll try it on some of my clients and see what they say before adding it i don't even know how you would charge for something like this like if you just charge a little bit more for the rubber base um i guess i don't really know and then once it came out of the lamp i made a little tiktok lol <laughs> well follow me on tiktok if you are not followed already so now we're gonna get into the application we don't need to put no primer or anything on. We're just going to lay the acrylic right on top of the rubber base. So for my thumb, it is going to be a Frenchie. This is a custom colored nude that I have mixed up from a Mia Secret nude and Mia Secret Clear. And I think it's Nail Supply Glamour's like natural pink or whatever they have. I'll put everything down in the comments or the description. Um, for what color red and stuff I used um, and I'm sorry in advance because my brush was not cooperating with me at all so it's kind of cringy because my acrylic application sucks in this video because my brush was so clogged but this is how I do my Frenchies and it helps using a little smaller brush so i can perfect everything and we're just gonna let that one dry and move on to the next finger so for on my ring finger and my middle finger 
those two are both going to be nude into clear at the tip. So the nude is going to be at the base of the nail and clear at the tip. So when I place that first bead on my nail, I just kind of feathered it out a little bit. And then I'm going in with a couple beads at the base of my nail to make sure that it's much more opaque than the tip of the nail. And then we'll put, after we get it how I like, we're going to take our Mia Secret Clear and put that at the tip. So it has some thickness to the nail and it's not super thin. And then also when we file, we're not filing into the nude color. Now we're moving on to my pinky. My pinky is going to be the same as my thumb. So we're just going in and doing another Frenchie. And y'all can tell my brush is clogged because I keep on wiping it and the beads just look horrible and so small. But it's okay because we figured it out. Okay, so now we're going back to the thumb. We're going to take our nail file and just file the small line so it's nice and sharp. Trust me, y'all, I filed more than that. It's just what I got on camera. We're going in with this red by Nail Supply Glamour that my brush is not liking. And it's very picking up very small beads, as you guys can see. But I will put this color name in the description. And I'm just going to get the red opaque. And then I'm going to add clear on it on top now we're going back to my pinky and adding some clear to it so it's a little bit thicker and then we're gonna go in on our middle finger do the same thing we did as our ring finger and i feel like if you're starting off on doing nails um i feel like the main thing you should work on is Making sure that you lay your acrylic nice and smooth because that will set you up when you're filing. You won't have as much to file. I always used to put on so much product onto the nails and I would be filing forever trying to get them a little bit thinner and the bumps out. But if you just layer or try to lay your acrylic smoothly when you're doing your acrylic, when you're doing your application then it will set you up in a better position when you start your filing but it's not always easy to do that gotta practice so now my brush is still giving me problems we're gonna go in on our pinky and fill that one in with red too and when i do my other hand my pinky and my thumb are going to be that green color so one of my hands is green and one of my hands is red so this is the red hand it will have the red diamonds the other hand will have the green frenchies and green diamonds so last minute i didn't really know what i wanted to do on my pointer finger but last minute, I decided I'm going to do some color blocking and some triangles. So the first color in the triangle blocks is red on this finger. And on my other hand, it will be green. So they're just kind of flip-flopped. So trying to get that, that finger thick enough was kind of hard because I swear it was just so runny. So while that finger was drying, I went in and filed the smile line on my thumb. But when I was done, after it was dried, I obviously went in and made sure that red line was nice and crisp so that everything looks nice and sharp. So then we're going to go in with our second triangle block, which is this glitter from Nail Sup or Secret Nail Fair, I think. It will also be in the description like always. I think this one is called mistletoe. But I just laid some of that glitter down and then put some clear on top of it just so I wouldn't be filing into the glitter. 
and then I'm trying to make sure that that line is kind of straight with my brush so I have less to file but obviously I'm still gonna have to file it so I filed it nice and straight and then I'm going in with this green color that I'm gonna use on my other hand okay y'all then I forgot to record me doing the rest of my nails like I'm so mad about it I was literally not even gonna post this but I decided to go and show you guys how I did the flower and my rhinestone placements. Just if you're watching this, you can kind of know what I did. So this is my finished nails and now we're going to go back. I wish I could go back in time and press record. I don't know how I messed that up. So I'm going to be showing you guys right here how I did my 3D flower poinsettia flower. Um, this is the 3D nail art brush that I use. It will obviously be in the description. And let's just get into it. So I have these little caviar beads that I found on Amazon. And I'm going to be using the Nail Supply Glamour Super, Super Diamond Gel Glue. So I'm just going to apply that on the left side of the nail. And kind of like a little circle. I need to buy a new one. I'm almost out. <laughs> so I'm going to put a little glob. And I actually would not recommend these caviar beads. Because mine are already turning like a brass color instead of gold. Or they're turning kind of blackish. Like the gold is rubbing off. And I don't like that. I don't like that. It's messing it up. So I'm taking my little wax pen. And just trying to get some of them on the nail is kind of hard because these are way tinier than I thought they were, but they still work. So I'm just going to apply enough so that it's kind of like in a little circle. And then I'm going to cure that for like 60 seconds whenever I get enough on there. I swear they did not want to get on the nail. Then I just kind of wipe some of the excess glue off so you it's not in the way when I try to do my flower. And then that is going into the lamp. Okay, so now we're going on to the petals. So I put my brush into the monomer and I wipe it off three times on the side. And then I'm kind of going to tap my bead into the acrylic about like three times. I'm going to let it sit on my brush for a little bit. And usually I do wipe it off onto the napkin. I did it that time. Anyways, I'm going to place the bead down. I'm going to wipe off my brush. And then I'm going to take the skinny side of my brush. And I'm going to tap it into the bead. So that I'm creating a line in the inside of the bead. Then I'm going to swipe the edges of the bead and swipe the middle of the bead down to kind of create a pointed shape and then i'm just going to keep on patting it so that it is flat and then i'm going to swipe the edges again and make it nice and pointed and that's when i stopped because i liked how it looked so to get the lines in the poinsettia like how they are I don't know what that's called. I'm going to take this fancy exacto knife and I'm just going to create a couple lines on each side and then one down the middle. So I'm just kind of lightly tapping that into the acrylic. So then this is what it looks like up close if it will focus. So it has some nice lines in it that makes it look like a petal shape or a a leaf what do they call it like veins so again tapping off my brush a couple times after I dip it into the liquid and tapping it about three times in the acrylic and I kind of had to like rearrange this because my nails were in the way 
when I'm going to set the bead down and press, kind of wipe off my brush a little bit. And then I'm going to just kind of tap the bead and make it a flat. And then I'm going to tap the middle with the skinny side of my brush. Drag the bead out a little bit and then swoop the sides to make it skinnier and pointed. So then again, I'm going to go in with my X-Acto knife and I'm just going to create a couple of diagonal vein-like lines to define the petals a little bit more. So for these flowers, I did four petals and two leaves. So we're moving on to the third petal of the poinsettia. And that bead, it was just, I think it was a little bit too big. So you just wipe it off. You're not always going to get a perfect size, but you want to make sure that they are consistent in sizes so it doesn't look off. So this bead was kind of smaller than the rest. But you just gotta like flatten it out a little bit more. So kind of dragging the bead out to make it longer and then tapering in the sides to make it pointed. Like look how perfect that is. And then kind of adding the line in the middle. And I was trying to make this one a little bit bigger on this side because I have to make like those two petals connect when I put the third, the fourth bead in there. And that one was kind of small, so. And you should be able to make these lines with your brush instead of the exacto knife. I just I just liked how it looked better with the exacto knife. If I probably would have waited for the bead to be a little more tacky, it probably would have worked better with my brush. But I think the way I did it looks fine. So again, tapping the bead in there like three times, wiping off our brush or tapping off our brush on a napkin, placing the bead, wiping our brush off, and then going into the bead and kind of flattening it with the little side of the brush. And this petal kind of had a lot of product, so I had to kind of break away some of the product. Because the petal was like getting too long, too close to the side of the nail. And then, of course, cutting it again. So 
So now we're gonna go into the two leaves. So for these beads, you kind of need them to be a little bit smaller. So I'm placing a smaller bead here. And I'm going to put my brush in the middle of it and kind of swipe it up. And then clean the sides to make it kind of pointed. And then you guys see where all that extra nude space is. I'm going to kind of brush it down in there to kind of fill up that little triangle space that you can visibly see between the two petals. So this container that I'm using for this acrylic has kind of like a divot in it that goes like a bubble that goes up. So I kept touching the bottom of the dish when trying to get this bead. So it just kept sticking to the bottom. And that bead was way too big. So I just brushed it off. And that one was just way too small, so I just took it off. So now you'll see me try to put all the acrylic in one side of the dish so that it's easier for me to actually pick up a good size bead. Probably tap it in there like two times, kind of wet it off the excess monomer, place the bead down, and then just kind of mold it into that triangle area, and then mold it into the shape. And these two petals, I didn't put any veins in it. I just kind of left them more smooth. So that is what the poinsettia looks like. And as you guys can tell... The red has kind of stayed the nude color behind it, so I'm going to go in with a little buffing block that I use for my nails. And I just kind of went around the flower and buffed it so that the red that had stained the nude color could go away. So when I did my top coat, it wasn't noticeable. So I'm just going to dust it off and then apply top coat around it. And for my nails, I used a smaller nail art brush and went around the flower and got all in the, the sharp corners. And this is the Nail Supply Glamour Diamond Gel Top Coat. If you guys have watched my videos before, 
you guys know, this is like the only top coat I use. It's my favorite. So yeah, here's just me going in with this linear nail art brush and just filling in the little tiny triangles that the bigger brush can't get. Okay, y'all, uh, so I, for my Christmas set, I know I wanted to do one hand red and one hand green. I already had the pack of red diamonds, so I went ahead and ordered the green ones. So right here, I'm just kind of showing you guys my diamond placements for my ring finger since I forgot to click record. So this stone placement was on my left hand and then... I did the same stone placement in green and put that on my right hand. So this is kind of what the stone placement looks like. And I also added some caviar beads onto the nail, but... The caviar beads, when I tried to put them into my notebook to kind of show you guys where I put them, they wanted to roll everywhere, and so it just wasn't working. Um, so this is what I decided to do. I decided to put little dots on my notebook paper where the caviar beads went. So that is my thumb, my pointer, my middle, my ring, and my pinky. Um, so I have my my red hand or my left hand right there so you guys can see how I did everything and also see kind of how I laid my diamonds out and then on my other hand obviously everything was switched and green color instead so there's my thumb with the two diamonds and the two caviar beads then of course I went ahead after I did all my gems and put on the Nestle Pie Glamour Diamond Gel top coat that I forgot to record because I'm so goofy lol anyways um here's my nail by Millie cuticle oil in the scent pink lemonade and I'm just going to apply this to all 10 of my nails and get ready to take some pictures And this stuff smells amazing. If you would like to buy one from me, they are $6 for one and $10 for two. Come and get your cuticles hydrated for this dry winter. So here is the finished set. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope you guys have amazing holidays with your families and I hope you and your family stay safe and healthy.